Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today, it is all about how to grow and care for the Mexican firecrackers. Mexican firecrackers are rosette-forming succulent plants native to Mexico. They share many similarities with other echeveria. The iconic small rosettes with the gray-green fleshy leaves look the same at first glance, but look closely, and you'll find fine white threads emerging from all over the plant, giving it a fuzzy appearance. Depending on different cultivation conditions and varieties, the fuzz on the leaves can be so thin that it's barely visible or be so thick it's immediately apparent. In late spring, the long stalks about a foot high emerge from the rosettes bearing buds that bloom into flowers. The flowers usually have deep red petals tipped with shocking yellows. The flowers are very showy and make a bold statement in any garden or landscape. With their striking colors and easy care, these succulents are sure to be a favorite addition to any garden. Mexican firecracker plants do best in full sun to part shade. They can handle a fair amount of direct sunlight, but too much or too intense can cause the leaves to burn. Partial shade will help keep the colors looking their best. South-facing windows are good in the winter when the sun is a little less frequent. Mexican firecrackers will get leggy if they do not receive enough light. These plants don't need a lot of water and can easily be overwatered. An excellent way to tell if they need water is to check the soil if it's completely dry, then they need water. Drainage holes are a must as they facilitate the water leaving the pot as soon as it enters. This makes sure it doesn't stagnate and stand in the pot. These plants prefer a deep, thorough watering once the soil has dried out. If your plant is in a pot, fill it with water until the water runs out the bottom. Overwatering often has more to do with how frequently plants are watered than it does with how much water is used. Mexican firecracker plants are semi-desert plants and can handle high temperatures of summer with ease. In fact, they prefer it. The ideal temperature for a firecracker plant is between 6 to 5 and 7 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. They may not do as well if the temperatures dip too low in winter. You could keep the pot outdoors but move it inside if your winters are too cold below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Echeveria setosa doesn't like high humidity and will start to show signs of distress if the humidity is too high. So, if you live in a humid area, provide some ventilation or move the pot outdoors. Fertilize Mexican firecracker during the growing season from spring to fall with a cactus fertilizer diluted to half strength. Do not fertilize during the winter months. Fertilization is optional. These succulents will thrive without it just as well. Propagating Mexican firecracker is easy and can be done with either cuttings or offsets. To propagate by cutting, take a cutting from the parent plant in late spring or early summer. Both stems and leaves can serve this purpose. Use a clean knife and allow the cut end to heal for a few days. Then plant the cutting in a well-drained succulent mix and water sparingly. Keep the soil moist but not damp and provide bright, indirect light. To propagate by offsets, remove an offset from the mother plant in late spring or early summer. Use a sharp, sterile knife to make a clean cut right where the offset attaches itself to the mother plant. Allow the cutting to callus over for a few days. Then you can plant it in a well-drained succulent mix. Water sparingly and keep the soil moist but not wet. Provide bright, indirect light. Mexican firecrackers can be potted in a variety of pots and containers. They prefer a pot with good drainage, so they don't sit in water. You can use a soil mix specifically for cacti and succulents, or make your own by combining one part potting soil, one part sand, and one part perlite. Echeguria setosa will grow slowly and may not need to be repotted for a few years. But these plants produce offsets easily and they can crowd out a pot surprisingly fast if given a chance. If you haven't been propagating using these offsets, chances are they'll fill out the space in a container and force you to repot. Mexican firecracker plants are mildly toxic to humans and animals. The fuzz on the leaves is known to cause slight skin irritation if touched. Wear gloves. These plants are generally pest-free. However, they can be attacked by mealybugs and aphids. In rare cases, fine weevils can also become a problem. If you notice any pests, Treat them with horticultural oil or insecticidal soap. 